Hello guys, Smart Paula here. Welcome back to another video. So today I will be showing you the two new Blender to Unreal tools that can help improve your Blender workflow. Uh, these two tools are Blender to Unreal, a one-click export button, and Unreal to Rigify, which is an easy way to get your skeletal meshes from Unreal into Blender so that you can animate them and use the Rigify controls. Both of these new tools were released a couple of weeks ago during Unreal Fest, and I will show you guys how to install and use them. Alright, so first of all, we're going to talk about the first tool, which is Blender 2 Unreal. So to download either of these tools, you want to go to github.com slash epic games, and you want to make sure that you obviously have a GitHub account, and you're logged in, and you link your Epic Games account to your GitHub account. Otherwise, if you don't do this, you're going to get a 404 when you try to access the repository. Okay, so we're going to go under here, Blender Tools, and basically, you're going to see here, uh, Send to Unreal Download and UE to Rigify Download. We're going to go to the Send to Unreal Download, and then you're just going to click on this first one right here, uh, the most recent one, and just click Download that. Okay, so I already have it on my desktop right here. I'm going to go ahead and open up Blender, and then I have Blender 2.83.3. So to basically enable that plugin, you have to go to Edit, Preferences. Under Add-ons, you're going to Install. Go to your desktop and then just click the Send to UE uh, 1.3.7 .zip and Install Add-on. Okay, you'll see it here, Pipeline Send to Unreal. You just want to check that. And then you can see a few things happened here at the top and here at the side. Basically what this did was to add this little button right here, the pipeline button. It has a button here to export Send to Unreal. And then we have uh, what are called collections here, which I'll talk about in a second. Okay, so to set up Unreal, we're going to go ahead and make a new project. I've already made one, it's just called Blender 2 UE. Or whatever project that you have, you can always use that. Okay, now that we're in here, we just have to enable three settings. Go to Edit, Plugins, Built-in, Search Python. You want to enable Python Editor Script Plugin. And then you want to enable Editor Scripting Utilities. Um, this should be enabled if you already have a Megascans plugin, if you've used the Megascans plugin in the past. Um, but yeah, anyways, you just have to enable Editor Scripting Utilities and Python Editor Script plugin, and then you can just click Restart. Okay, once it's restarted, you want to go to Edit, Project Settings, and Search Python. And you want to enable Remote Execution, so just make sure that's checkbox, and that will allow you to send uh, your model from Blender to Unreal. Okay, and one more thing you can do is go to your editor preferences and search CPU and uncheck use less CPU when in background. Um, a lot of people have said that this helps when you send over your model to Unreal uh, because if you don't have Unreal as the active program, it's going to use less CPU power, but obviously you want it to still use you know CPU power when you're uh, sending your model over. Okay, so real quick, I'm just going to snap this right here. And then basically how it works is for our cube to be exported into Unreal, what we have to do is assign our cube to the mesh collection. Because right now it's just in our scene. And if we were trying to export this, it's not going to do anything. So we have to send it to our mesh collection to export. So to do that, you can press M. And it'll bring up the move to collection hotkey. You can select mesh. You can also drag your cube into this mesh collection. That'll also work. But I like to just use the M key for the hotkey. Okay, and then once you're done with that, you just go to Pipeline, Export, Send to Unreal. Okay, and you can see here, it just created a new folder, Untitled Category, Untitled Asset. And you can see we have the cube, the default cube that we have here in Blender. We have it in Unreal. How exactly does it work? Basically, if you go into Edit, Preferences, under Add-ons here, Send to Unreal, uh, you're going to expand this little arrow, and you're going to see down here the Mesh folder. Basically, how it works is it's going to send whatever you have in the Mesh collection to an open instance of Unreal. 
So for this to actually work, you have to have a running instance of Unreal Engine, and it's going to send the mesh into that project. The way you have it set up to your content folder is right here, the mesh folder. So the game right here, slash game, is actually your content. And then untitled category, and then untitled asset. Okay. So you can change this um, if you wanted, say, in the geometry folder here. You can change game slash geometry and put it in there. Okay, you also have animations folder and skeleton asset folder, which I'll have to cover uh, later on. But that's pretty much the basics of it and how it works. So the next thing I want to talk about is scaling. So as you can see here, we have the cube. And in our game, you can see it's um, pretty large, about, I believe, a meter, two meters tall. So basically, what you want to do in terms of scale is you want to go to Edit uh, Preferences, and then you want to check Always Use Unreal S uh, Scene Scale, and this is basically going to convert uh, the cube to use Unreal Units so that uh, you can have the same scaling as you would in Unreal. And to do this, we're going to go ahead and actually just restart Blender here real quick, and then now if we move our cube to the mesh collection and go to pipeline export send to unreal and I see it updated our cube here our cube is going to be really tiny because we modified the scaling here to always use unreal uh, scene scale basically what that means is our cube right here is 0 0.02 meters so basically two centimeters, two by two centimeters in Unreal units. So if we were to scale this to say two meters by two meters, and we go to pipeline exports and no Unreal, you're gonna see it automatically updates our cube to the size that we had it before. Okay, so the reason why you want to have that always use Unreal Scene Scale check mark is because you can obviously have the same scale that you are working in in Unreal. It also has an important thing to do with skeletons and skeleton bones. Okay, so another thing is that basically when you export your mesh here, it goes directly into the content folder, like I've mentioned before, and it doesn't create an FBX file on your, like your hard drive, you know? Like if you were to file export it as FBX, it doesn't do that. It just goes directly into the engine, which I think, you know, can obviously be useful and helpful, especially if you're just trying to block things out. Okay, one thing I want to add is you can add a hotkey to your export button right here. I have it set to control U, and you can set it to whatever key you want. And to do that, you just click on here. Just go to pipeline, export, right click, uh, change shortcut and just type in control U or whatever key you want then you can go ahead and assign this to the mesh collection control U and you can see here it just sends that right in so really I could scale it control U and you see it automatically updates like that okay so anything again want to do like that automatically updates just like that Okay, so really powerful uh, plugin. It's going to make, you know, blocking out levels much easier, as well as, you know, when you're working on, say, like a game jam, it's going to speed up the process of importing your mesh into the engine, and it just makes for a faster workflow. So anyways, guys, uh, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Um, I'm going to make a follow-up video showcasing the, the Unreal to Rigify plugin, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.